The problem statement in question 10 says ABCD is a parallelogram, the one shown here in figure 8.21, and AP and CQ are perpendiculars from vertices A and C on the diagonal BD. So these dashed lines that you see in the figure, the perpendiculars uh, from A and C onto BD. So these are the perpendiculars onto the diagonal BD. We have to show that triangle APB is congruent to triangle CQD and we have to show that AP and CQ are equal, the perpendiculars are equal. So let's start with part 1 where we have to show that triangle APB and triangle CQD are congruent. So let's highlight these triangles in the figure. Triangle APB is A P B, this triangle here and then let's highlight triangle C Q D. So C Q and D, this triangle, this is triangle C Q D. So we are going to compare these two triangles and show that these two are congruent. So in triangle A P B and triangle C Q D, what are the parts which are equal. So this angle here, a, angle APB and angle CQD, both of these are 90. So we can write angle APB is equal to angle CQD and both of these are equal to 90 degree. This is basically given to us because AP and CQ are perpendiculars onto BD. Also the angle at B which is this angle, uh, angle ABP is equal to the angle at D which is this angle, angle CDQ because these are alternate interior angles. So angle ABP is equal to angle CDQ because these are alternate interior angles. So two angle pairs are equal, all we need is a side pair to be equal now so that we can apply, uh, we can claim congruence between the two triangles and for that we note that AB must be equal to CD because these are opposite sides of the parallelogram ABCD. So AB is equal to CD and this is because these two sides are the opposite sides of a parallelogram. So in the two triangles, two angle pairs and one side pair are equal and hence we can apply the ASA congruence criterion. So we can claim that triangle APB is congruent to triangle CQD by the ASA congruence criterion. So this proves part 1 that the two triangles are congruent. For part 2 where we have to show that AP and CQ are equal, we know that AP and CQ are basically just the corresponding sides of these two congruent triangles. So we can directly claim their equality. We can say that AP is equal to CQ by corresponding parts of congruent triangles for the two congruent triangles APB and CQD. So this proves part 2 as well and with this we have completed question 10. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.